In this question from the chapter similar triangle, he says ABCD is a trapezium with AB parallel DC and the diagonals AC and BD intersect at E. So let's begin with first making a trapezium. So if I make a trapezium where two uh, a trapezium is what? A, a quadrilateral where one pair of opposite sides are parallel. So keeping in mind that uh, I've named it AB parallel CD, that's why it's the way it's given. And we are going to join its diagonals. The diagonals are named at AC and BD. So it has to be AC and BD only. And this is what the other diagonal, that is BD. And these diagonals are intersecting at a point and it is given as E as the point of intersection. Now, if I read it further, it says that here AED tri triangle is similar to BEC. So I'll be making the triangle AED similar. So I'll just be marking over here this triangle that is AED is this, right? It is given similar to the other triangle that is just triangle BEC. This is triangle BEC and these triangles are given similar over here. Now what we have to prove here is that AD is equal to BC. The length of AD is equal to BC is what we have to prove. Now, first of all, let's use the information. We have these two triangles as similar. So from here, we can use proportionality and we can say that length of a, uh, AE, which corresponds to BE. So you know that when two triangles are similar, their sides are proportional. So ED over EC should be equal to AD first and last letter, AD, right? This is what? <clears throat> AD over BC, right? So this is what E, this is ED, okay. So once we have used this proportionality, now we are going to prove two other triangles similar. And this time I will be proving these two triangles similar, that is triangle AEB, uh, we'll prove this triangle similar to the other triangle that is DEC will be proving these two triangles similar. And how to prove it? We can see clearly that here, this angle, say angle one is equal to angle two, that's by alternate interior angle. Angle three is equal to angle four. Again, for the same reason, alternate or corner angles will be equal as the lines are parallel. That is, AB is given parallel to DE. So once you write these two triangles similar, let's see what we get. So here the pro triangle similar will be if I write triangle AEB should be similar to what A corresponds to C. So it's C, E corresponds to E and B corresponds to D. Now from here, what proportionality we get? That is AE over CE, right? CE and EC are same. So AE, this is AE over, this is AE over CE or EC is equal to, uh, we can write BE, right, BE over ED. Now I'm marking this equation too. Now what I'm going to do is to obtain something like this, and this is possible only if we do alternando, also known as cross multiplication. So by rearranging this, I can write, I can, swap these two as it is true in case of the ratio. So this is going to be EC over ED. So if I mark this equation two, now what you need to figure out that here, we have this as AE equals AE over BE. And here too, we have AE over BE, right? So from here, what you can conclude that we can equate these two. By that I mean to say, this can be equated with this as they are equal, right? So what you can, so from equation one and three, we can equate ED over EC as equal to EC over ED, right? And the reason, as I said, as you can see, these are equal. Now from here, what we will get if I do cross multiplication, from here if we do cross multiplication, let's see what we are getting. We'll get this as uh, 
e d square is equal to e c square. Yeah, the square can be cancelled, so we got e d is equal to e c. Now check here from the equation one. Look into the equation one. I'm going to take these two. That means here we have e d over e c is equal to a d over b c. Now since e d and b e c are equal, we can cancel them. That comes as one over one. And if I do cross multiplication, we get a d is equal to b c. So that's how, that's what we needed to prove that AD is equal to BC.